they had to be the most breathtaking and marvelous sights I have ever seen in my entire life. We drove from Santiago, Chile to now we are in a little city called Mendoza, which is a winery little country area in Argentina. But we were going through the Andes Mountains, most spectacular views in human history, quite literally. I mean, when you when you start driving and you get past uh, Chile, which was still that was beautiful. Chile was beautiful. There was these windy roads and this amazing uh just kind of looked like a mixture of a, a kind of california style where it's just you know how beautiful california is and how great the weather is everything but argentina was just on a next level just jaw-dropping sights and i'll put up some pictures so that took up the entire day driving from chile to now mendoza and then when we got here the people in Argentina are just so pleasant. It's hard to imagine how pleasant they are. Like everybody, even the customs portion, the border control, the cops, the people on the side of the road, the, the waitresses, the waiters, the hostesses, the people at the front desk of the uh, hotel, everybody that I've met is just so pleasant to be around. They are very attentive. They are not just like in the US where you have a server or someone waiting on you that is just that just hates their life. It's the complete opposite here. People seem happy to be doing their job and the roads are wildly clean and there's not much really any homeless. The people are very dressed nice. It is so bizarre because if you go to major cities in the US now, there's just homeless and drugged out people and just a ton of ghetto stuff going on. Couldn't be more opposite here. And the ironic part is, Almost every American would say, oh, you're going to some knockoff city in Argentina. You're going to get stabbed to death and killed or Chile. When I feel so much safer here than I do when I was in even even Phoenix. If you're in some bad areas of Phoenix, uh, I mean, that's how nice it is. Now, of course, I've only been here for a very short period of time. And that is definitely clouding my judgment along with a slap sleep deprivation or i can't even, can't even pronounce it it's it's been a really really fun trip so far which i didn't expect it to be i thought that it was going to be okay but after doing that drive i would say it's almost mandatory for people that like to do fun things like see the world to take that drive i these videos are not going to do it justice it was 10 times better in person. I mean, it was jaw dropping, just absolutely mind blowing for a good two, three hours of driving of just gone minutes because it was just such spectacular views. And I'm excited to see what the rest of the trip entails. Because from here, we'll be driving to Buenos Aires, which is going to take a few days. Tomorrow, I'm going to be doing some wine tours. Why not? You're in Mendoza. This is one of the most popular. This is where most of the wine from Argentina comes from. And Argentina, this this little winery that we're going to is super famous. It exports a lot of the wine to the world, or at least some very high-end wine. And it's just, everything's just so cheap in Argentina as well. So it's it's amazing here. I'm actually thinking potentially spending the Argentine summer Maybe in Buenos Aires if I like it that much, uh, which right now they're approaching on winter because they are in an opposite cycle. So it is fall going towards winter in Chile and Argentina. So I'm spending the summer in Colombia. Right now I'm living in Arizona. So currently living in Arizona for the summertime, the U.S. summertime, I'll be living in Medellin, Colombia. And after that, I might actually move to Buenos Aires if I like it as much as I do these other places. That's how much I already like Argentina for being here just a very short while. It's, it couldn't, I, I wasn't expecting this. I honestly had pretty low hopes because I've been enjoying Phoenix so much and I genuinely didn't really want to go on this trip because of how much fun and how much I'm enjoying my lifestyle that I've been quite accustomed to in Arizona. But life just gets better and better. <laughs> It's, 
it's, uh, it's just so fortunate to be in the position that I'm in. I was joking around with the two guys that I've been hanging out with, George and this guy, Shane, that I'm right now living the lifestyle of a millionaire. Like if, if I'm not just a millionaire, but as if I was making 500 grand per month profit. But in reality, I mean, I, I make good money, but I'm, as if I was broke because I'm in Arizona, I'm driving a few hundred thousand dollar car. I'm flying on private jets because Ken has a jet. I'm going to super, super expensive state dinners with him. I'm traveling a few times a month. <laughs> so from that aspect, I'm living the complete lifestyle any millionaire would, would want to live. Or really, I would say anybody, but you have to have an extraordinarily amount of money to do that. Yet I don't, which makes it all the more interesting because I'm exposed to that same type of lifestyle while I'm quote unquote broke. I mean, that just sounds like gloating, but I think there's a way where you can set yourself up in these kinds of positions. If you get good enough at something, rich people will want you to be around because you are making them more money than whatever you're costing. And they like to be around young, motivated people because that fires them up. It, it does. I promise you when there's a 50 year old business owner that just has a ton of employees that none of them really care about their life, or one of them is just so fired up to just make them more money, they are going to treat you a hundred times better. I, I promise you. It's just the way that the world works. People, especially business owners, they are not used to their employees caring about their business. It's really as easy as that, but it's not easy. It is, it's simple, but very, very difficult. Anyway, I need to go to bed because I'm going to the wine tour tomorrow. So I will probably get absolutely hammered. <laughs> Maybe I'll try and do a video with George and Shane. I just kick back and have a good time. I'll try and set something like that up, but I, I don't drink too often. So if we were drinking, you know, five glasses of wine, I know first off, my mom's going to be incredibly jealous because it's going to be the best wine ever, but also I, I never drink alcohol. So anyway, good night. Goodbye.